Happy Sunday Warriors, this is Mr. Luke here, and I'm so glad to be with you guys. We have an awesome service plan. Last week's big idea is that Jesus opens up more of heaven on earth through my sharing heart. We talked about how you can bring heaven to earth by loving and blessing others. In the last two weeks, we've talked about what God can do through our hearts. Well, today, I want you guys to take a moment and look at your hands. Think about what God can do through those. We're gonna continue our series, Keys to the Kingdom, and we're gonna talk about ways that God has called us to bring heaven to earth, not just through our hearts, but also through our hands. Let's jump right into the PB&J Show. Hey everyone, I'm Peter. And I'm Jez. And with the Bible between us, we're the, the PB&J Show. Show. Well guys, we're getting pretty close to getting into our new church building. I know, I am so excited. I cannot wait to get in there. Well, I'm actually really happy that you're so eager. We actually need some help getting the final touches in place for the new building. Wait, what's that? Well, I've actually been put in charge of looking for volunteers to help set up. Uh, like what? Well, first of all, we need to get all the chairs set up in the auditorium. I thought the point of having a church building was so that we would never have to move and set up chairs again. We need to lay all the cable for all the tech stuff. Oh, I am terrible with electronics. I've almost been electrocuted by my vacuum cleaner. Twice. Well then, that knocks off vacuuming the new carpets too. Hey man, I really need help. Do you think there's something that you can do to help out to get everything ready? Uh, will there be food afterwards? No. Okay, well, could me and you hang out and supervise while everyone else is doing the work? There's a new game that I got for my Switch that I really want to show you. No, Peter. Man, this is a way that I can serve God and serve the people who are going to come into our new building. I really want to use my hands and my time to serve God in this way. Uh, I'm sorry, man, but I don't know what to tell you. I don't think I'll be able to make it. Peter, you've been dying to get out of the house. I'm surprised this isn't something that you're excited to be a part of. Think about it. We get to be part of setting up the physical foundation of where God is gonna speak to his people and their lives are gonna be changed. Don't you think that's something worth being a part of? So, do we have a letter this week? I know what you're doing, Peter. Don't think you're just gonna go and change the subject right now. But yes, we do have a letter. Oh, what's it say? It says, Dear Peter and Jez, my parents have recently started asking me to do chores around the house to help out the family. I don't understand why I should be the one to take out the trash or learn how to vacuum though. I don't like doing chores, but my parents say I should have a better attitude about them. Why would I need to like doing chores? Thanks for your help, Elliot. Oh, that's easy. It's not so much about liking doing your chores, but putting others' needs and wants before your own. It is another way Jesus taught us to bring heaven to this earth. Exactly, Peter. Plus, you might even start getting an allowance. What? What? I just think that you're getting your motives a little off right now. It's not about what you're going to get in return by serving people, but what God can do through you by serving the people around you. What do you mean? Tell you what. Why don't we both go ahead and listen to this week's Bible story? And then afterwards, tell me if you see it. This week's Bible story will come from Luke 10, 27 to 35. The Miracle of Mercy, the Good Samaritan. This is Jesus, who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. You see, when Jesus was on earth, he wanted everyone to know what God thought about things. So he took every opportunity to teach people about God's heart. <clears throat> One day, a religious expert stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? <laughs> what does the law say? The man answered, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> right. All right. Do this and you will live. Wait. The man then asked, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. <laughs> They stripped him of his clothes, 
beat him up and left him half dead beside the road. <laughs> By chance, a priest came along. <laughs> but when he saw the man lying there, Ugh, yuck. He crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, whoa! Another man who worked in the temple who was called a Levite walked over and looked at him lying there. Please help. Uh, huh? But he also passed by on the other side. Then a Samaritan came along. Oh. Yeah. Samaritans were hated by Jews. They were seen as lesser people and Jews would not interact with them. But when the Samaritan saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his donkey and took him to an inn, where he took care of him. One room, please. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now, which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? The man replied, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. Wow, such a great story. Just like the Good Samaritan, we should be willing to help others. Yeah, he gave mercy to someone who he knew would give him nothing in return. Exactly. God brought heaven to earth through that Good Samaritan's time, energy, and money. Yeah. So Elliot, even though you may not want to do the chores in your home, it is one way to love and care for your parents. It's not about getting an allowance, but bringing more of heaven to earth through your hands and your heart. Isn't that right, Jess? Exactly, Pete. You see, in today's story, we got to see how the Good Samaritan serving hands were able to bring heaven to earth by turning from his own way and going Jesus' way. He helped a hurting man that the world thought was too different than him, while the other two men chose the world's comfort over loving like Jesus. Yeah, you're right. Where others passed by the hurting man and ignored him, the Good Samaritan made the man feel seen and loved, not just by him, but by God. Yeah. God called us to turn from our own way and go his way by loving those around us, even if it doesn't benefit us. Mm, that is so good, Jess. Elliot, I mean, even though you might not like doing your chores, you can bring more of heaven to earth by helping around the house with a joyful heart. Not only are you obeying your parents, but it's also a chance to show your younger siblings and even your parents a love of Jesus in your home. Yes, Peter. Now do you see how this applies to your life right now? Uh, like in like the past five minutes or so. Um, uh, like maybe some way that you could serve others, even though it might not benefit you. Oh, OK, 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 I, I get it. OK, rather than just staying home and being comfortable or just supervising people, I can help bring heaven on earth through setting up chairs, and vacuuming, and placing cords for the next Sunday service, even if I don't get something in return. Exactly. Plus, I mean, while it may just be setting up chairs, I could be praying for each person that would be sitting in those seats in the coming weeks. Honestly, I just feel like that can be a lot of joy that can come with serving. Yeah. And who knows, maybe some of the people who are coming to help are hurting and we can love on those people. You're so right, Jess. God can do a lot through our serving and willing hearts, even if we don't see it right away or if it's uncomfortable at times. Serving that hurt man on the side of the road wasn't normal and probably very uncomfortable. But the Good Samaritan knew that was the right thing to do. And that's what Jesus would have done. Yeah. And God did big things through his serving heart. 
Jesus opens up more of heaven on earth through my serving hands. Yeah, you know what? That should be the big idea for this week. Jesus opens up more of heaven on earth through my serving hands. Hey, it's like you said, there are two ways that we can live, our own way or Jesus' way. Elliot, while it may not be natural for me or for you to serve our friends or family by doing chores or helping set up chairs with a joy-filled, grateful heart, it allows those around us to see Jesus in us and spread love and care. Yeah, and Jesus is the best example of this. He chose to die on a cross and forgive us of our sins, and he didn't get anything in return. He did it because he loved us, and he wanted to spend eternity with us. Wow, Jez, I never really thought of it that way. You know, I guess you can count me in. When you guys are ready to start setting up the inside of the church, you just let me know, and I'll be there. We won't be doing it for about another week, but hey, we're gonna be in the building soon enough, and we'll be able to do the show together again. Hey, just like the good old days. Oh, I can't wait. So until next time, I'm Peter. And I'm Jez. And we'll see you next time on The pb and J Show. What a powerful story that Peter and Jez shared with us today. God used one man's serving hands and serving heart to love someone different than him. And it completely changed a life. Some of you guys might have heard that story before, but it's important to remember that there are people all over the world who are hurting, just like that man on the side of the road. Sometimes they're hurting physically, but other times they're hurting on the inside. Have you ever felt like you were hurting on the inside? Maybe you were sad or lonely or angry about something. I know I felt that way, but God sent Jesus to heal the hurting and we all need Jesus. Today, if you wanna believe and follow Jesus for the first time and make him the leader of your life, we want to encourage you to take that step and talk with your parents so that you can have the greatest decision of your life. Parents, you can access our parents guide through the links below and continue this conversation with your child during the week. I can't wait to see what God does with you guys this week as he brings more of heaven to earth through your serving hands. God can use you in such big ways this week, just like he used the Good Samaritan. All right, warriors, let's go change the world this week. Bye, everyone.